All right, Chip, thanks. Well, the U.S. Supreme Court just released its decision in a huge election case out of Colorado. It is a big win for former President Donald Trump. Dan Godwin here with a look at that ruling. Dan? Lauren, so Donald Trump has been restored to all presidential primary ballots. The U.S. Supreme Court rejecting state attempts to hold Trump accountable for the Capitol riot. The justices issuing a unanimous ruling this morning that states, without action from first from Congress, states cannot invoke a post-Civil War constitutional provision to keep presidential candidates from appearing on ballots. The court's move ends efforts in Colorado, Maine, Illinois, and elsewhere to kick Trump off the ballot because of his efforts to undo his loss in the 2020 election to President Biden. Now, this is part of the opinion that came down this morning attributed to the entire court, not just one justice. The high court expressing concern about the precedent that the lower court decisions could set. The result could well be that a single candidate would be declared ineligible in some states, but not others. Quote, this from the court, the patchwork that would likely result from state enforcement would sever the direct link that the framers found so critical between the national government and the people of the United States as a whole. Unquote. Both sides had requested fast work by the court, which heard arguments less than a month ago on February 8th. The court did not clear Trump of insurrection. It did not rule on that specific question. It just says that states cannot use those grounds to remove candidates from the presidential ballot. Colorado, Maine, are, and Maine are among the 15 states holding primary elections tomorrow for Super Tuesday. Lauren and Brandon.